What's up YouTube? I'm Trout Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Well Done Tanks. It is an exciting time tonight because look at this. We are officially standing in the fish room. That's right guys, my wife did a lot of work for me over the past couple days. We're about 80% done with the base, well the drywall in the basement. But look at this. We are 100% done here in the fish room and we are ready to paint. So that's what we are doing tonight. Um, as usual, I don't know when this exact video is going to release with everything. So kind of my weekend off is what we're working on here. And I want to bring you along for the journey as always, show you what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> first off, maybe a little echoey <clears throat> as there's nothing in this room and the lighting absolutely sucks in here. So we're using a little wider lens, but I kind of want to show you also what we're working with. So bear with me, all part of building a fish room, right? But also with this, I want to show you kind of my tips and tricks and some things that I've learned while doing this. So this is, we're officially going to say this is like the second fish room I've built kind of, you know, my last one was that, I called it my nook, my area, I don't know, never a full wall to it, but I've learned some things since then. So tonight with painting, you know, I have some tips and tricks I want to share with you, kind of what I would recommend you do if you were going to build your own fish room. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is we are putting down a primer, but we're putting down the kills primer. So what this is going to do is going to help, it's like a mold resistant, it's going to seal the drywall really well. Um, you know, my last fish room, I didn't experience any mold, but I do not want to experience mold on the drywall. That would be terrible. So we're gonna lay that down tonight and then probably tomorrow morning, come back to it and actually paint the color. And so that's where we're gonna get started with. So we got the walls all sanded down. Uh, I just remembered I do need to come in here and wipe them down with kind of a, a damp rag, not wet, just to get all the crud dust off of it. And then we're officially gonna start painting. So let's get going. myself way too much than I should have. Um, I did three coats of primer. Absolutely not necessary, but I had way too much fun doing this because I know it's like, this is my dream, my passion. Like we have an actual fish room this go around, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. My last fish room, we're gonna call it a fish room, was amazing. Learned so many things, but like we got four walls and a door. I'm so excited for this. So. Recap really quick. We're getting ready for paint. Uh, we just did the kills primer So it's gonna stop any mold anything like that um, I wanted to prime anyways just so I don't have to use as much actual like paint But I also wanted to get a really nice adhesion a good coat on it, but I was down here uh, My wife came and hung out with me and we just turned on some country music had a couple cokes and I just started going next thing I know I'm like I'm gonna do three coats. Well, I got done with the first coat I was like, ah, I'm gonna do a second coat. I was like, ah, let's just do three coats. So I did do a fairly thick first coat and I kind of laid off from there. <clears throat> but really though, absolutely not necessary to do three coats. I just did. So we are officially ready for paint. And this is kind of be that like new series of like the fish room is coming together. So I hope to share some things that I have learned while building my last one that I'm gonna incorporate in this one and things I'm gonna change. So this is it. We're we're painting. I'm so excited. After the paint's done, uh, my brother's gonna come back in and finish up the electrical in this room for us. So we'll officially get the lights running, the ceiling fan going. It's gonna be amazing, the plugs in, and then things really start moving forward. We already brought over some tanks, but yes. So now we're gonna move on to painting. And I've always wanted to try something. All the fancy YouTubers do this really cool, like, time jump, whoosh. So we're gonna try it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, 
dang it, you guys are still here. All right, guys, I guess I messed that up horribly. So, for real though, one time, now time to get <coughs> uh, the paint down on the walls here. So I shared up a uh, picture on Instagram and the community page, kind of some different colors I was looking at. And everybody voted for shark fin was the actual color. Um, I didn't really put the color names up. It's kind of more of a, just a fun, uh, fun gimmicky picture. But we ended going with what is called oh, Coastal Storm. Coastal Storm is going to be our grayish color in here. I think it's going to look really, really good in here. So let's go ahead and get this down on the wall. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So the color again is a it's called Coastal Storm. I may have said Coastal Gray earlier, uh, but it's Coastal Storm. And in the in the Home Depot on the little card you use, like this the paint sample card you can pick from, it did definitely look like it had more blue, but as I painted it on, it pulled out a lot of green. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna look as we start moving tanks in here, getting things set up in that nature, getting you know, actually electricity running, lights in. So my brother's gonna come back and finish everything electrical for me. So we get the lights going, start getting tanks in here. <clears throat> but I have to say, overall, I'm very, very pleased with how this all turned out. I think it looks fantastic. So a couple things I wanna kind of mention in my thought process on, again, why we did the Kills Primer. That was to hold back any mold growing. We want to want to protect that. You know, prime the drywall really well to make sure we're not going to deal with any moisture issues in here. But then also with the color we chose. I did, I so Jared uh, with H2O Aquarium Services and Adam with Houston Manzanita, they both commented on um, some of my, my Instagram posts about what color I was going to do. And both of them made some really good comments about like earth tones and different things of actually how it's going to affect the color of the fish. So it definitely looks a lot darker in here right now, right? Because it's, I only have the camera light, a little shop light going, so it's, it will brighten up, but I think the darker earth tone is gonna really do some good wonders for the fish once we get you know, the lights in here and the tanks in here. It's, oh, it's gonna look amazing. So guys, there it is. Fish room is painted. We're moving on to the next step, probably today, uh, when I'm filming this, and that is going to be the floor. So we are gonna talk about that in the next video. So guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, leave me a comment, you know, what are you up to right now? What are you doing? What do you think we're gonna be doing in this space? Give me your ideas, but we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thank you.